Hi there, this is Dave Champion with Northeast Electrical Distributors. Thank you for tuning in to the new power supply product update. Those of you who are familiar with Rockwell Automation Allen Bradley Power Supplies know that there are currently three families in the line 1606 XLP, a small plastic cased power supply, 100 VA and below, the more feature rich and larger 1606 XLE for essential components a more full-featured power supply with greater overload capability and the premier product in the line, the 1606 XLS a highly differentiated, high quality, high overload capable power supply. Joining these three families of power supplies is the all-new 1606 XLB, as in best-in-class, cost-optimized power supply. The 1606 XLB is a new family aimed at high-volume OEMs. It's the most competitively priced of the Allen Bradley families of power supplies, and currently is available in the two most popular sizes a 5 amp or a 10 amp version 120 watts or 240 watts at 24 volts it's designed for 120 240 volt AC inputs and while it's meant to be cost competitive it adds several high quality power supply features. Particularly among them is the efficiency. For a low-cost power supply, it's among the industry leaders. Along with the efficiency, you see less heat generated and, as one would expect, a higher mean time between failure or better reliability. And then finally, it's a small footprint power supply to save space on the DIN rail and safe space in the panel. Here's a comparison chart so that you can see how it stacks up with the other power supply offerings from Allen Bradley. As you can see, compared to our XLE or XLS, these smaller power supplies are meant to provide exactly the load they're rated for. In this case, this chart compares the 5 amp supplies. As you can see, the XLB is rated 5 amps. It has 120 watt output and there's essentially no power reserve. One of the hallmarks of the other Allen Bradley power supplies are the power reserves and the power boost ratings. In this case, as you can see, an XLE in the same wattage, while rated for 120 watts, can provide 120% reserve power continuously. So in theory, 144 watts. Also, the XLS performance power supply, again, while being rated for 5 amps, can supply a boost, a power boost, of up to 150% for a short period of time. In this case, the 120 watt power supply could actually provide, for a limited time, 180 watts. So while both of the premium power supplies provide options for situations where there may be inrush currents that are transient, a little more thought and calculation might be required to properly apply the XLB. As you can see, the efficiency ratings are very high on all three families. 
There is a DCOK contact available on the XLB line. You notice the XLE doesn't have that feature, so if required in some cases, you may have to go to an XLS performance power supply. In this case, in the 5 and 10 amp size, possibly an XLB will provide a solution. Here is a similar comparison chart with the 10 amp power supply featured. You will notice again the XLB doesn't really have a reserve power, whereas the XLE can provide 120% and the XLS 150%. Again, you'll see extremely high efficiencies. In the case of the XLB, a 95.2% efficiency, even outpacing both the XLE and XLS. The same situation exists on the DCOK contact, and if you do look at the lifetime estimates, you'll notice that with the 74,000 hour estimate, it's going to be an extremely long-lived, reliable device much ahead of many other power supplies in its basic grouping. So in summary, the new XLB power supply is a lower cost, better value offering for high volume OEMs, unlike other econ economy class power supplies, it has a very high efficiency which also leads to less heat generated in the enclosure, which is going to have to be relieved somehow. It comes with greater life expectancy, and again, one of the smallest footprints on the DIN rail or in the panel of anything else in its class. Finally, all Allen Bradley power supplies have buffered inputs, which means lower inverse currents, putting less demands on your control power transformer and possibly saving you on sizing. A variety of information is available online. Finally, thank you again for listening. If you would like more information on the 1606 XLB, please feel free to contact me or Craig Charest. Thanks again for listening.